So today we're going to talk about Isaac Okoro. Okoro. Probably figured it out before I started even recording, but like, hit that subscribe button. Let me know down below what you guys think of him, and let's hop into this. Who is Isaac Okoro? Okoro is another guy that people should be higher than consensus on because he has a really good chance of becoming a starter for an NBA team for at least 12 years. I'm not sure there's anything more valuable in the modern NBA than a wing that is a multi-positional defender that can guard in space and is capable of creating against a closeout or in isolation, but I'm sure that no one in this 2020 NBA draft is better fit than that role than Okoro. You shouldn't think it's crazy to say that Okoro was the best perimeter defender in college basketball this season. He can guard up, he can guard down, he can move his feet, he's already built like a pro. He's shown the ability to block shots as a help side defender. It's what he hangs his hat on. But he's proven particularly adept off the dribble, where he's a nightmare to stop once he gets a step. He can finish above the rim, but perhaps his most underrated skill is his ability to read the defense and pass the ball. He's definitely capable and a willing playmaker. The one question mark is his shooting, but in conversations I've seen or like read that Isaac, both as a collegiate and high school levels, is a consensus known as a hard worker. He'll put in the hours needed in order to make himself a threat from three. Isaac Okoro is a skilled, versatile swingman that has a variety of skills that can prove to be useful at the next level. He's an athletic slasher that can take people off the dribble to garner scores. He's also a solid defender. He also may have the ability to run point if needed to. Right now, he will need to improve his jump shot, but Okoro is an interesting prospect that can have a high upside sort of player and could end up being a top 10 pick in the 2020 draft. I do think Isaac Okoro will be a top 10 pick in this NBA draft due to the fact that he's probably the best defender in the college game right now and he's the best defender in this year's draft which isn't considered the best or strongest draft so the fact that he isn't a great shooter and but he's known as a really hard worker will just boost him up the boards because he'd rather have a great defender that has the ability to become a good shooter down the line than a guy who's a good shooter and a terrible defender because you don't know if they're going to become a terrible defender because it's easier to get a guy to be a become a good shooter and a good offense player that's already built as a good defender than a good offense player become a good defender you know what i'm saying but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy that video about isaac okura just let me hear down below what you guys think comment like subscribe as always guys i hope you guys did really do enjoy that video simple little thing just a little write up so let me hear your guys' comment down below in the comment section hit that like button Subscribe for more NBA content like this. Turn on the notification bells for more NBA content on the daily. As always, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I don't know why I just keep dragging that out. Bye-bye.